Hi everyone, hope you're well. Um, I'm in the workshop today and there's a couple of different packages going through. So I just really want to take a bit of time just to show you the difference um, between a Westlock switch box with a backwired solenoid and then the other option which we have, which is to use the, uh, the Westlock control monitor with the integrated solenoid, which we call the Quantum. Um, so as you can see here, we've got a ball valve, we've got high torque actuator, we've got the Westlock uh, switch box on top, and then we've got the solenoid on the side, and then we've basically backwired uh, into the switch box for the customer, just to make it a little bit easier um, for them when it, uh, when it turns up at site. Um, one of the big problems of this is when I go to site a lot and I find problems with valves, it tends to be with the solenoid. And out of those problems, a lot of the problem is with the coil. And it can either be this wire's got pulled or the, uh, the connections come loose, or there's been some ingress of, of water or dirt or dust or something like that, um, or some physical damage to the coil where it's been hit with something. Um, so while this is on the outside of the actuator, it's very prone um, to having uh, physical damage to it. So the way we can get around that is we can move away from that product and we can use the Westlock Quantum control monitor. So here we've got um, a Keystone actuator, we've got the same Westlock um, switch box on top, but as you can see here, instead of the solenoid um, being on the side of the actuator, we've actually moved it and it's actually integrated into the switch box. Um, this gives you quite a few features. One is you've got no cable, you've got nothing coming down um, which people can get hold of. You've got the pneumatic pipe obviously, um, but you've not got any cabling that people can pull or have any problem. The other thing is the coil is actually inside the switch box. So the coil is inside the housing, so it's protected from the elements, it's protected from any physical damage. Um, all the wiring's done pre-wired into the terminal strip, so you can just bring your, um, your cable in through the conduit and wire it into the terminal strip. So it's a really nice, neat solution um, to move away from the standard solenoid backwired. Um, the other great thing about this solenoid is that you've got a little telltale on, which I talked about before in one of our uh, Meet the Product videos on the YouTube channel. So if I go to site and there's a problem with the valve and the client energizes um, the valve and puts some air and some power to it, if I see a little red dot in there and that moves but the valve doesn't, I know that the problem is below the switch box. If I don't see the red telltale in there, I know it's probably something to do with the spool or the coil or something controlling the switch box. So it's a really nice little telltale. The other thing with this as well is if we get on site and we realize the valve's maybe not opening as quickly as we would like or something like that, we can very easily change the, uh, the solenoid um, part. We can just undo these two um, bolts and we can take this off and we can fit a larger CV or a stainless steel version or whatever we might want to change to. So it's really nice um, and easy to maintain and look after. Um, so just wanted to show you that. So it's basically your Westlock Quantum switch box versus a backwired solenoid. And as I say, there's quite a lot of features and benefits of the Quantum over the backwiring option. I just wanted to show you that. Thanks very much for watching.